Hello guys, Robot One here, coming at you with my updated Master Rule 5 Hero Deck Profile. Now, I've been messing with a lot of different builds of heroes. I've been trying one that doesn't play the Vision Heroes, I've been playing ones that do. Um, I've been playing ones without Destiny Heroes, I've been playing ones with Destiny Heroes, and... I've really been trying to figure out what is the best way to play heroes in Master Rule 5. Because, like, there's just so many ways you can play heroes. And I feel like this is technically the best way to play them. Um, this build that I've got in front of me. So we're going to be looking at this build today. Um, there will be a combo video coming in later in the week. So please look out for that. Um, but right now we're doing the deck profile to show you the new variation of heroes that I have. My favorite deck of all time, as we all know. So we're going to be going ahead and showing you the new hero list. And you guys are going to see it. So... Yeah, let's get into the deck profile to show you what the new heroes can do, seeing as it's obviously the best deck in the game, am I right? Heroes being with Dark Lore and all of that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the deck profile. So, starting off, we play the standard 3 Vision Hero Forest, 2 Vision Hero Increase, and 2 Vision Hero Fion. Um, This is the standard ratio of uh, Vision Heroes. You want to be playing this ratio of Vision Heroes in all variants pretty much. I have been trying variants where I play 1-1 one, one instead because of like um, you don't really want to draw these cards but in all honesty if you open one of these cards then you just lose so you need to be playing 2-2. Two, two. So um, I have tried it. It doesn't work because if you draw one of them the whole engine's just completely dead. So you want to be playing um, free 2-2. Two, two. And basically, you the starter is Vision Hero Forest. Um, you just got a hero to special something from your hand. Then you go ahead and put Increase in the Spell and Trickout Zone. Then use Increase to Tribute Forest. And then you summon Increase and then Increase Summons Vion. So that's basically the whole engine there. You want to be playing uh, free free 2-2 two, two because that's just the best ratio. Um, you always want one of these in the deck. And you always want one of these in the deck. Just so you can uh, always guarantee that you have a way to play the game. Um, it isn't too bad if you draw both of these though because for increase can summon itself so it's not the end of the world if you do draw them um but yeah vision hero engine uh you want to be playing this ratio honestly i would not change this ratio um i've tried different ratios but this is just honestly the best <laughs> um but yeah uh, into the Elemental Heroes though, we're playing uh, two Elemental Hero Stratos, two Elemental Hero Shadow Mist, one Liquid Soldier, one Solid Man Soldier, and one uh, Elemental Hero Honest Neos. Um, uh, the reasonings for these ratio this ratio right here is because I feel like this is the best ratio in Heroes. Now, I know people are probably thinking, why aren't you playing three Stratos? But... There's so little room to keep this deck at 40 cards that I feel like two Stratos is the best way to go with it. Plus, seeing as Stratos takes up your normal summon, he can, if you draw multiples of him, he can be a brick and you don't really want to be drawing multiples. Plus, we've already got so many normal summons in the deck in the form of Solid Soldier, Liquid Man, um, Stratos himself, that you want to kind of mediate what kind of summons that you have. So... We're playing two Stratos because I feel like two Stratos is just the better ratio of the two. Even though he is one of the better ones where you just normal summon him and then search any hero. Um, I personally feel that two Stratos is the better ratio out of three. And I have tried it. I've tried it up three. I've tried it up one. Um, one is terrible. Do not play one. But I feel like two is just the better ratio just because you have so many normal summons that free stratos is just a bit cocky plus you want your normal summon to really go into cars like liquid soldier and solid soldier anyway so you can gate so you can end up on the dark law guaranteed so um two stratos because if he's your normal summon and you don't really want to normal summon him because you want to normal summon either solid soldier or liquid soldier um but we play two shadow mist because uh one is too little, three is too many. You always want to have at least one in the deck or one in your hand to just got a forest. So uh, you can always use utilize him. Plus in the late game, he comes up a lot. So I feel like two of him is very good. Um, one Liquid Soldier. Liquid Soldier is honestly... He's insane. He literally makes one card Dark Lore possible. So you really need to play him at one. He is so strong and so good that I really would not cut him. Um, uh, one Solid Soldier. Same thing with Liquid Soldier. Um, he makes one card Dark Lore somewhat possible um, at the same time. But the only difference between these two is that this one you need a polymerization. Where this one you do not. So yeah, you kind of need to 
choose between the two. Um, also, actually, something I didn't mention with Liquid Soldier is a nice little plus to him is that you, if you use him for a fusion summon, um, then you can draw two and discard one. So that does come up. Uh, and one Lick Solid Soldier, as I said, because he's similar to Liquid Soldier, but he summons from hand and you need a fusion spell. Um, and then one Honest Neos, because just having that additional 2500 boost is really nice at times. Um, but yeah. Uh, into Destiny Heroes, uh, two Destiny Hero Mali, one Plasma, one uh, Celestial. Um, I just feel like this is the best ratio. Mali is obviously gone to two, so you can't play three of him. Um, and honestly, before he even went to two, I was testing him at two, and you don't really need the third Mali anyway. Um, but it does really suck when you draw both of them, so you got uh, kind of hope that you don't. Um, but yeah, so you, two Mali because you have to play him at two. He, it's the highest number you can play him at. Um, one Plasma because literally just ending on Plasma is insane. Being a skill drain slash a thousand eyes um, to steal monsters can be really, really good at times. Um, and that's why you play him. And like, there's boards, and you can de end on boards with him, uh, with him, Dark Law, and even other cards at times as well, which just makes him even more insane. Um, one and one Destiny Hero Celestial because he lets you draw cards later on in the game, which is nice. And giving having the option to just draw cards is always really, really good because like just giving yourself a draw option, it helps so much. Um, but yeah, so two that's the Destiny Hero package. Um, the last hero card is a Dust of Gold. Um, being able to end on a Raigeki re is really good. Plus, he can't be destroyed by anything. Uh, uh, being able to end on Malicious Bane is really strong. And this is literally just like one card. I'm going to have anything I want. So one a Dust of Gold. It's it's so good. Um, we're also playing free hand. Tra we're also playing hand traps in this build. So triple Ash Blossom. Because it's Ash Blossom, it's literally the most versatile hand trap in the game right now. Being that if you activate it, you just pre stop prevent whatever you want to stop. So really good hand trap. You need. I would really suggest playing this, especially with decks like Adamantipater, um, Elder Lich, uh, Dragon Link. Any of those decks, like this card, can literally stop in a flash. So you kind of need to be playing this in any deck right now. Um, but for spells, uh, we're playing. Two, three equal, one hero lives, and one reinforcements of the army. Uh, this is kind of like your searcher package, um, being that hero lives just searches you your Stratos, your solid soldier, your liquid man, um, even honest Neos. Um, you've got your hero lives that will summon Stratos from the deck, giving you the guaranteed search on the top of anything else. And then you've got reinforcements of the army that literally searches your entire deck, being that it searches Vision Hero Vion, it searches uh, Increase, Shadow Mist, Stratos, all of them. So this is kind of like your basic search package you kind of want to maximize this part of the deck like because it doesn't take up your normal summon like stratos like the reason i'm playing free equal instead of free stratos is because like literally i was testing between uh two equal and two equal or two stratos and um i just came to the conclusion because equal uh, doesn't eat up your normal summon uh, having the third equal is a lot better than having the third stratos so i've been seeing builds that were playing two as well and i was like no 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 you definitely play free equal instead of free stratos because a free equal just guarantees you a lot more stuff without taking up your normal summon which is kind of important at times um and then hero lives obviously it just pays half your life points to summon like a shadow mist or a stratos to guarantee your combos and then rotor is the same thing as equal it searches any of your hero monsters um yeah, uh, then we play triple mass change because mass change says I'm going to make Dark Law. Uh, you want to almost guarantee that this card is in your hand because it's the card that will allow you to make your mass change plays and just end on dumb boards. Um, free uh, Fusion Destiny. Um, I was testing builds without this card, but honestly, this card being a one card Dark Law, a one card full combo. Um, in terms of a lot of different scenarios, you can't not play this card. And honestly, I don't like this card a lot of the time because it hinders the rest of your plays. It stops you from making stuff like Sunrise, Absolute Zero, anything along those lines. But the card is just so strong. And if your opponent interrupts your plays at any point, then you literally just drop the Fusion Destiny and then be like, well, I'm going to continue playing the game now. And it's just, it's so good because of that, that you have to play it. And I really would not cut this deck card now because like the amount of hand traps, the amount of stuff like Nibiru and all of these other cards in the game right now, 
you kind of have to have a backup plan like this in your hand, or even if your starting hand is really bad and then this is in your hand, um, just to guarantee that you can play the game. So this card is kind of really important to your strategy in Heroes. Um, then just for the rest of the fusion spells, you play one Polymerization, one Miracle Fusion, and one Dark Calling. Um, just generic fusion spells that you will be using in Heroes. This one you search off Vile, and this one you search off... Um, uh, Sunriser, and then this one you search off uh, Gold, a uh, Dusted Gold. So they're all searchable, that's why you play them. And the last spell, Monster Reborn, because hell, having the ability to revive any of your monsters uh, is just insane. Like, being able to revive your Stratos to search more heroes, being able to revive Shadow Mist to search Mass Change. Um, being able to revive anything really is really nice. How even forest at times can be really good because then you can set another increase and an increase will go ahead and give you more stuff. Like it's just Monster Reborn is just really good in that aspect where it gives you those additional plays. So you really should be playing Monster Reborn um, in the deck. So yeah, free one Monster Reborn as the last spell in the deck, and then finally for the last cards in the main deck, we are playing free Infinite Impermanence because this card literally just says, "Oh, I'm uh, one of the better hand traps." That just literally says you can stop your turn now. Um, I wouldn't be playing any deck uh, without Infinite Impermanence right now as well because Imperm just it gives you so much rain being that you can't be called by the grave you can't be stopped by really anything um, and that's kind of like the plus side to this card because if you could be stopped if it could be stopped right now like cross out designator when we get ever we get that then I probably would consider this to be not the best card but honestly just the fact that it can't be stopped right now makes it just that infinitely better because it's it just says oh I'm up against Adam Anzipir. sick I'm gonna negate your effect oh I'm up against uh, heroes oh, I'm going to negate your effect. Oh, I'm my opponent end on an Appaloosa or something. Then, oh, I'm just going to negate your effect. Um, the card really just comes in clutch at times. And it's really, really good. Uh, but that's the main deck. In all honesty, in all my testing, I feel like this is the best ratios you could have in Heroes right now. Um, there are other cards that I did want to kind of put in. Like Port of Avarice. But I found that to be too bricky at times. Um, Raigeki. But at the same time, I want to go first. So Raigeki doesn't really come up unless it's the late game. Um, cards like these that are really strong but i just didn't wasn't really sure if i could fit them in and honestly i could put them in um making this like a 44 card deck but i really wanted to kind of keep to the number of 40 because i want to keep the consistency in this deck as high as possible obviously to guarantee my combos so yeah that's the uh main deck though let's get into the extra deck to show you what we're playing there because it's kind of like every hero extra deck is kind of standard but yeah let's uh show you what we've got in here so Start off, we play uh, two Cross Crusader. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, he's literally the best hero link um, in out there. Being that he summons a Destiny hero from the graveyard, and then you can tribute that Destiny hero to search any hero card. Really comes in clutch. You really need to be playing him. He is so strong in heroes. And if you're playing a pure hero variant with uh, like this, then you you need to be playing this because he just it guarantees you so many combos because of he exists. Um, one Wonder Driver. He allows you to end on double Dark Laws at times or Dark Law Absolute Zero stuff. So play Wonder Driver. He is very good. Um, one Dread Decimator. Um, honestly, I've debated on cutting this card quite a few times now. Seeing as we're in Master Rule 5, we don't really need his arrows. Um, but the only reason I'm still playing him is because he gives you that additional boost on all of your monsters, allowing you to OTK a lot easier. And also, he can do piercing damage on monsters, which just guarantees you more damage. So, he does come up at times, which is why I'm still playing him. But at the same time, I'm kind of 50-50 if I want to continue playing him. Um, yeah, but other heroes are playing Master Hero Blast, he's the master hero, the Wind Master Hero, he returns back row to the hand, he halves monsters attacks, no reason not to be playing him, um, honestly, if you're playing more than one, uh, water attribute, then, or a fusion that kind of justifies it, then you should be playing the Master Hero equivalent of it. So one Master Hero Blast. Uh, two Dark Law. I don't like playing free because I just feel like it's too cloggy and I never make the third. So I feel like two Dark Law is the correct ratio there as well. Um, one Master Hero Acid. Back row removal just says goodbye to everything my opponent has in the back row. Um, going up against back row decks, this card is absolutely insane. And plus he facilitates board wipes with absolute zero. So you want to be playing him as well. Uh, one Anki for potential OTK plays. Um, it comes up a lot. 
not, honestly, where I can just summon Anki, attack, search Mars Chains, make Dark Lord attack the game. So don't ask, don't argue with this. It's just, it works very well. Um, one dangerous. Um, that's dangerous is purely here for when we have the really bad hand where we didn't open any real combo play. So we need to use Fusion Destiny to send to, when we for, for when we need to use Fusion Destiny to go ahead and send Mali and a Shadow Mist so we can actually play the game. Because the sending Shadow Mist will just give us a search, and that search normally can get us to all of our combos. Now, obviously, honestly, half the time if that does happen, you might not be making Dark Lord that turn, but you will nine times out of ten be able to end on like a plasma with maybe um, an absolute zero or a sunriser, so your opponents get skill drain. So, well, no, you won't be ending on the sunriser, um, but you'll be able to end on like a uh, just at least at most a plasma with like some sort of backup plans. Um, but yeah, you kind of need that. It really does come up. It this card isn't needed because of it it just helps you get around um literal bad hands and it really does come up because of that um and also in the late game it can come up as well where you just send a random destiny hero in your deck and then shadow mist search and then summon this and it's just it comes up um sunriser because he summon he searches miracle fusion and he boosts your hero's attack and if a hero gets battles then destroy a card miracle fusion searcher that does that as well there's no reason not to be playing him uh, one absolute zero because absolute zero is absolutely the best omni hero monster in the game being that he says when i leave the board um i ride geki and in the tcg we have not yet got the rulings that say if he's returned to the extra deck his effect does not trigger so yeah um he still triggers until he stops triggering that'll be sad but the majority of the time you're sending him with mass change anyway so it doesn't really matter um, one Trinity for OTKs, if you play against the Galatea, if you're spying an Orcus player, you make Trinity, you look him in the eye and you say, game. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, one Dystopia, because Dystopia is obviously another really good Destiny hero monster. He's the primary one you're going to be summoning off your Fusion Destiny, um, because he says, um, if my attack is different, then I'm going to pop a card, and when I'm summoned, I burn you. So if it's time on the round, you summon Dystopia. Um, if your opponent goes ahead and has something you don't like and has more attack or less attack, you return its attack to original, and you say bye-bye. There's no issue to this card, and it's just really good because of that. So very strong card. Um, and the last card we are playing in the extra deck is one Malicious Bane. As I said earlier, he's Raigeki. He can make your OTKs live easily. He allows so many potential plays. OTKs come out of nowhere. So you need to be playing him in the deck. Um, but guys, that is the deck profile. There will be a hand testing video coming out later on in the week. Um, either on the weekend or on Friday. One of those two days. Um, it really does depend because I have to... Uh, I, I'm not in a situation where I can make videos constantly because I have a, my my roommate, technically brother, so I, it's kind of issued there. Um, but yeah, that is the video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this deck profile. Like honestly, I've been testing this hero deck constantly ever since Master Rule Five came into effect. I've been thinking, oh, what plays should I make? What cr things should I change? What can I make that really does affect the deck? And I feel like this is the best variant. Like there are obviously other variants you can play, like a go pure going second variant um, and a pure going first variant but i feel like a variant that is good going first or second such as this um with six hand traps that can prevent your opponent from playing the game um being able to go first with one card combos that make dark lore and stuff like that um, being able to go second with OTK cards like Bane and everything else. I feel like the deck is a full-on first and second deck. And that's how I've always made my decks. And that's why I'm really happy with this kind of list. Um, but guys, this is the list. Tell me what your thoughts of it are in the comment section below. I really have tried to make this the best list possible. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And guys, please don't forget to like the video. Check the description to maybe support me if you want. Um, there is a link down there if you feel like you want to support me. Help me make better Yu-Gi-Oh content in the future. Um, um, check out the links for my team, uh, my Twitch, which I'm not really using right now, but check out streams that are coming out as well. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one because Hero Combos coming out soon. I'll see you in a bit, guys.